How's it going guys? In this video, we are going to be walking through the proximity sensor for these Arduinos. And we're not just gonna be making a little example of a print statement, but we're even gonna be causing a little alarm to go off, or in our case, a little LED to turn on if our proximity sensor is reading something that's too close for comfort. And so this is gonna be a complete guide from scratch on how to do this stuff. I've got my little setup right here. I've got a breadboard, I've got the proximity sensor. I've got it all wired up and I'll take you guys through all that stuff. And basically the output of this is we're gonna see an LED uh, for specifically on pin 13 light up when this thing gets too close. So as we get closer and closer, we can see that LED turn on. It's gonna stay that way. And it's gonna be that way as long as it's too close within five centimeters is what I've defined in the program. Uh, and as we move this thing away, LED will turn off. So it's pretty cool. So it can alarm us if something is too close to one of our proximity sensors, for instance. So that is how we're gonna get started with this stuff. I'll post all the code to GitHub so you guys can download this, change it, play around with it. And so we will get started. All right, guys, and before we get too deep into any of the programming stuff, I just want to walk through the high level, the hardware that's going on here. So this is a proximity sensor and it's very basic. It's just two identical cylinders, T and R. So you've got a transmitter and a receiver. And so the way these things work is that they emit a sound wave at 40,000 Hertz which is higher than the human ear can detect at 20,000 Hertz. So basically you don't hear this, but it's literally just a bunch of sound waves that bounce off stuff and then it will reflect and then go back from the transmitter to the receiver. And so based on the time it takes for that sound wave to make its way back to the receiver is how this thing knows how far away something is. So as we move this closer and closer, the time between the sender sending a signal and the receiver receiving that signal at 40,000 Hertz is going to get smaller and smaller. So closer and closer, smaller and smaller uh, times equals closer and closer distance. So uh, that is a key thing to note. So basically on these things, we've got four wires and I've stuck this thing into a breadboard just to have a nice little base for it. Um, you know, you can come up with other solutions, but for the sake of just a little demo, this is what's working for me. And so you're gonna note how you've got a VCC, that's literally just five volts. You've got ground on the other side, and then you've got trig and echo. And so trig is the uh, basically the transmitter. So that's the thing that's making that, that pulse. And then R or the echo is what's receiving that. So it's the echo of the trigger. So that's gonna be corresponding to your receiver. So in our case, uh, what I did is I just took on this breadboard and it's on pins or the rows one, two, three, and four. So pin three is going to, or row three will map to trigger. So that's gonna be this orange wire. Orange wire is gonna to go to pin six on my Arduino. And then we've got on row two, that's where we've got our echo or our receiver. And that's this green wire. And that guy is just gonna go into pin five. So that's a key thing to make note of. And then in terms of the actual power for this thing, for the sensor itself, we've got the five volts and ground coming off this power thing. So that's gonna be constant the entire time that this thing is plugged in. All right guys, so we are now going to jump into the actual coding part for this Arduino proximity sensor slash alarm. And so I've got a blank template file here. It's got empty setup and loop functions or methods in Java or Arduino. And so what the, we're gonna to wanna to do first of all is import a great library. It's called newping.h. And if you haven't used this before, the way you can get it is if you go to tools, and then go to uh, manage libraries. It'll pull up a window in the Arduino IDE. And if you have this little search bar right here, give it a second, just type in new ping, hit enter, and give this thing a second. I've already installed it, but if you haven't, you would just click install and it literally downloads the necessary packages to make this thing work. Um, and so once you've done that uh, in your IDE, you can close this guy out. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to use pound include and then open and close chevron brackets, uh, new ping dot h. So that's gonna include this library that we're gonna be using for our proximity sensor. And now what we're gonna to wanna to do is define the trigger pin, the echo pin, and the max distance in centimeters that our proximity sensor should be reading out to. So to do that in JavaScript, we need to preface this with the int keyword. And then I'm going to say that this is the trigger underscore pin, and this is going to be equivalent to pin six, which is what we just looked at. And then make sure to have that semicolon to end that line. We're also gonna have the int echo pin, and this is going to be on pin five because that's what our uh, Arduino has been wired up to do. And then also I'm going to define int max distance centimeters. And we're gonna say that this is going to be equivalent to 15. 
And so basically this is saying to our proximity sensor, don't read anything that's more than 15 centimeters away. Uh, and again, this is something that you can pick depending on the sensors you're going with, but for our case, this is what's working for us. Um, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our uh, still outside of that setup uh, method. We're going to now create an object of the new ping class that we've just imported, uh, sonar, and then open and close uh, parentheses. And now we're going to enter the trigger pin, the echo pin, and the max distance in centimeters. And so now that we've defined this object, we will move into our setup loop and we're going to define the bode rate and it's going to be serial.begin and 9600 and then semicolon and then comments in Java are those double forward slashes and this just for clear is the bode rate and we're also going to define a delay in our uh, method right here and uh, 50 milliseconds just for the initial setup uh, and then we're also going to set pin 13 so pin mode 13 as an output and so basically what this is going to do is it's going to tell uh, the Arduino that it should treat the pin 13 which is that built-in LED on the Arduino Uno itself to, to treat that LED as an LED that can be can, can be turned on or off depending on some condition. That's how we're gonna be setting our alarm. So um, important thing to make note on that one. Um, and now we're going to move into the actual loop method itself. And so this is the thing that's gonna be running indefinitely. So I'm going to do serial.print and we're just going to basically preface our log output uh, as follows. So um, distance from proximity sensor in centimeters. And then we're also going to uh, grab what the proximity sensor is reading in this given uh, time interval. So int uh, distance centimeters will be equivalent to that sonar. So now we're going to be calling that sonar object dot ping centimeters. And so it's basically going to be grabbing whatever is that current value from the sensor. And now what we're going to also do is we're going to print uh, that to the console. So serial dot print line because we want to ma basically make a new line character after each one of these outputs um, and we're going to just uh, print with that value like so and now what I want to do to actually have an alarm here is we're going to define a condition so I'm going to say if the and I also before I do that sorry I want to just define an alarm distance so that I'm specific here so int alarm distance in centimeters and we'll say that this is equivalent to five. So basically if anything's closer than five centimeters then we should freak out. Uh, so basically we're gonna now do an if statement in our Java, Java and we're going to say if distance in centimeters is less than or equal to the alarm distance in centimeters, then what we're going to want to do, so open curly bracket, close curly bracket, I'm going to say digital right and this is where we're gonna say pin 13, set this to high. So basically that's going to turn on LED if object is too close to sensor. Essentially it's alarm high. Else, then we're going to want to basically turn off our uh, alarm LED if that's not the case. So I'm just going to copy this guy. Else we're going to be setting the uh, pin 13 to low, and that's in all caps. Uh, and so turn off LED at pin 13 if object is within normal limits. And so that's what's going on. And then finally, we're going to add in a delay here. And so this delay will have units of milliseconds. And so basically, I will say 250 milliseconds, or basically four times a second. Um, wait 0 0.25 seconds between uh, state uh, between measurements and so basically uh, that's that's a time window that I'm comfortable with uh, for my particular alarm here next what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this verify uh, command right here just to see if we've messed anything up in the Java and we have not which is great and you guys can just copy paste all this stuff because I'm going to put it in GitHub. But now what we're going to do is we're going to click on upload 
and sometimes you might get prompted to specify which is the COM port for your Arduino itself if you haven't, um, but in our case it knows, and so that's great. And so now that it's running, what you can do is you can click on uh, Tools and go to Serial Monitor or press Control Shift M on the keyboard. And so right now uh, it's kind of acting weird because there's nothing really. Oh, it's so I have the sensor right here. Don't know if you guys can see that. Um, let me try to get that in frame. So we've got our sensor right here, and I'm going to do something like take a breadboard, and we can see that it's measuring where our breadboard is, and as we get closer and closer, uh, it's now also turning on that LED because we just were within five centimeters of this thing. And then we're going to take this thing up and out, and we can see how cool it is that it's able to see that this thing is getting closer and farther away, just like that, and it's turning on this LED as an alarm uh, like that. So now we've just created our own complete working alarm. You can close this out. You can also disconnect the, um, let me get this in frame, the, the USB cable from this Arduino. And we can take a little power supply here and all that logic is still living on the chip itself for this guy. So even though we're not uh, necessarily able to see any more what's going on in the computer because we've just disconnected the USB thing, um, we will still see pin 13 uh, light up on this guy once uh, something is too close for comfort to our proximity sensor. So that is going to wrap things up for this video, but I hope this helps. All this code's on GitHub, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.